Her job was to care for the elderly and comfort the ill. But former nurse Elizabeth Wetlofer is now one of Canada's worst serial killers. Today, the 49-year-old admitted she was consumed with anger, taking it out on helpless patients like James Silcox. The Second World War vet was the first to die in 2007. Confused and restless, he apologized for his behavior moments before the nurse plunged a needle into his arm, sending a deadly dose of insulin coursing through his veins. I was devastated to hear that my father had those last words, you know, and uh, it was a, it was a, it was an absolute meltdown I had, you know, and uh, to know that, but uh, it's been really, really rough this morning. I pray to God I never, ever have to go through anything like this again in my life. In all, Wetlofer admitted killing eight patients, the last in 2014, and harming six more, all with insulin injections. Most of them lived at this care center in Woodstock, Ontario. In a chilling confession to police, Wetlofer claimed they were annoying, stubborn, and some even wanted to die. She is uh, feisty. Was she? Yeah. She didn't hurt the nurse and drive, and she's just very outspoken and feisty. And one night she said, you know, I'm going to die tonight. Mary said that? Yeah. And I said, oh. And she said, yeah, why don't you get me into the, why don't you get me into the deathbed so I can die? Helen Matheson was another victim. Annoyed because she kept crying out for help, Wetlofer served her a piece of her favorite blueberry cake, then stuck a needle in her arm, loading her with a lethal dose of insulin. In other cases, Wetlofer hugged and consoled the grieving family members, never once letting on she had killed their loved ones. She'll rot in a box for the rest of her life, and I'm happy to see her there because she doesn't deserve to breathe free, free air. Not after what she did and the way she did it. Wetlofer casually suggested police could learn something from her, that they could study her to learn more about what made her tick. Her crimes went unnoticed for years. Arpad Horvath's father was the last to die. She murdered eight people. I mean, <laughs> how is she going to help people? She murdered eight people. We're, what, are we going to study her like some goddamn dinosaur or something? Her crimes came to a close last summer. The breaking point, she said, when she was asked to care for diabetic school children in Ingersoll, Ontario. Wetlofer said she couldn't trust herself not to kill again. The victim's families will get their chance to confront Wetlofer directly when she's sentenced here later this month. She's facing life with no chance of parole for 25 years. But as one police officer noted today, this investigation was only sparked because of her confessions. She could have taken her secrets to the grave. John Lancaster, CBC News, Woodstock, Ontario.